Hey, good afternoon. Akuma here for Kikai no Naka no Akuma, the unit of machine. So, I want to show you guys a couple things real quick. <clears throat> this is the Eldar that I got done today. And we're working on with the kids in the classroom. Just wanted to show you that real quick. And then I wanted to um, share some thoughts with you. In the local San Antonio slash San Marcos and Austin area, if you guys were asking me in person over the weekend and online, like, why are you guys snobby or you don't really want everyone in your business and what have you or not? And I said, no, that's that's not really it. Um, and it was multiple conversations with about five different people, but it all came down to the same issue and topic. And I just wanted to share my thoughts. One, this group was envisioned for people to get together, form war gaming bonds, Develop new friendships, new people to hang out with when you get time to actually paint or you just want to shoot the breeze or play the hobby of 40k or just wargaming in general or just going to the shop. I have friends that don't own an army, will never play a game, but they have friends at the shop and they go hang out with them. I feel I accomplished that with my group because one, we're not backbiting, we're not trying to rig tournaments or... And I'm not saying anyone in town is doing that. I'm saying that we're just out to have fun. And that's what I really miss about when I was in high school. Most of the guys I rolled with, whether it was Battletech, D&D, N64, Mario Kart, whatever, we just wanted to hang out. We were friends. There was, there wasn't no massive competition, no ego trip, and no one got butt hurt. And I feel that I accomplished that. And for the people that are with me locally in San Antonio, San Marcos, and Austin, or even back in New Orleans where I first got into 40K officially. I'm in the mindset of truly blessed just to see you and laugh with you, regardless of how many times I see you. That's the highlight for me. Everything else is a bonus. In my group, I added some people that I was having second thoughts about before I even added them. And they were discussing like, well, he has this and that's going that. And they were trying to forecast for tournaments what people were bringing and I'm like my apocalypse narrative leave has nothing to do with tournament play our game started 2,500 3,000 points I'm not running one trick pony circus narrative down here and as a teacher at a rough school which is turning around and getting better on a positive note there's a new plan in place but I won't discuss that on my gaming blog um <clears throat> The racism, the N-word, and all the, the, the ignorance and the illiterate ignorance that I deal with at work, I don't want in my game time. I don't want in my hobby time. I want to have two separate universes. Like, I, I have the running joke that I share with my wife. I have a life in San Antonio. I have my highway life because I'm driving 15 hours a week back and forth from work. And I have my gaming life. I don't want the highway and work to follow me to my game time. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. So, for the people in my local group, and shout out to all of my YouTube subscribers, you guys are held in high regard. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for throwing out your two cents. Thank you for telling me to keep doing this. Otherwise, I was going to give up doing YouTube and just load up battle reports. Um, the next issue is that we were accused of being snobs and elitists, and I'm like, wait, 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 back up, back up, back up. Everyone has been to a magic tournament, a 40k tournament, or a game shop where you can see someone's entire butt crack. And we're not talking about just like, oh, it's the top of their butt over their shorts or their boxes or what. No, you see their entire butt hanging out. Yuck. Yuck. Ugh. Mm-mm. No. Negative Ghost Rider, you will not fly that ass across my tower, ever in my life. And then I hated going to tournaments and events where people hadn't bathed in two or three days, and I can smell you, I can smell you out in a parking lot, and I'm hoping it's not you when I hit the door, and then it's you and I have to stand across from you for two hours. I've thrown games. I say, hey man, you win. Just go take a bath. Just to not deal with it. And the same gentleman in a, on a different conversation flat out said, it's like, well, why can't we play 1500-1850? Apocalypse takes too long. And I'm like, look, look, look. Realistically, when you conquer countries, it takes bodies and equipment. There has not been one single recorded 
combat in man where one guy took over a country by himself with no support, no backup, no guns, no bombs, no financial investment. And I even broke it down to the 40K universe. One space marine can't patrol statistically a population of 300,000 or 3 million people and be expected to defend said group of population by himself with a bolter and some melt bombs It's not possible. So when you're playing games of Planetary Conquest, yeah, I'm expecting 3K, 4K, 10K, a Legion, a full Hunter Cadre, a damn craft world, a Necron Tomb world, to, to muster up and go throw down. Really? We're playing for a, cl- a cross-continent battle with a map with multiple regions. Yeah. Don't be stupid. And he, he finally, it finally clicked. It's like a tournament. You are not fighting a fluff narrative. You are fighting for prizes, prize support. You're hanging out with your friends. You're eating pizza. If you're in the UK, you're tossing back a brew, which I would like to do one day. Not a tournament. Apocalypse. And um, that's it. The narrative, it's like, hey, I'm fighting for an airfield so I can call more reinforcements. Or, hey, we're going to go fight for that um, industrial complex so I can mass produce reinforcements so I'm not stuck out on planet with what I got left. Granted, I didn't have access to the Planet Strike book. Michael Aturia, shout out to you, sir, um, for having it. I have to get it from you, and I have to make time to sit down and read it. Because it's April going into May, it's star season at my job. I'm not reading anything till after May 15th. Like, anything longer than 100 pages or even 30 pages that's not work-related, I'm not reading. Unless I'm a church in the Bible. But that's a whole other gambit. So, I had a completely separate conversation with a gentleman at a shop in San Antonio. He was complaining that, yeah, he has... He's sitting on 28,000 points of something. I don't know, remember if it's Eldar or Space Marines or all of his stuff combined. And he's like, he wants to play with all of it. Granted, he's a family man. I'm married. And I said, hey, look, my relationship with my wife is that I can bribe her, drop her off at the spa. She gets together with friends, and I give her money. And I can have a Saturday and Sunday or at least 10 to 12 hours. I don't have a house yet. Otherwise, I'd set up a war room. We'd finish a full turn, make notes, and come back and pick up when we had time again. Not a problem with me. And he looked at it like, well, I can play four rounds in a day. I'm like, yeah, you can play four full tournament games on a stop clock and rush and make mistakes in a day for some prize support, which gets you more stuff to paint and build. Me personally, I've already played enough tournaments I've already got enough prize supports from my times doing that but at the same time not necessarily what's on my mind I just really want to play a beautiful well documented I wish I was in culture Essex um, I'm looking at Warhammer buy sell and swap towel popped up and it's a beautifully painted purple but I got enough towel so side joke um, I had my notes of how much stuff I had pointed up maxed out for apocalypse just to get the numbers legit and my wife was looking over the pages she's like that's 6,853 points that's 12 the hell are you and I got the face and the face said hmm okay so, in the back of my mind, I already knew that was the negotiation for I need to shed some armies again. Um, so, this summer, the salamanders, once I have the kids finish painting them and I'm happy with the results, and the Eldar, once again, painted and happy with the results, I'm looking to get rid of them. And, you know, I'm willing at this point to trade half of those salamanders for two storm surges. Just FYI, if anyone gets to nine minutes and 41 seconds into the video that's what i want to do but back on my to wrap up the soapbox is that apocalypse win lose or draw it's not designed for tournaments unless you're on a clock and i think that 
me and Joshua Van Meter, we sat down one day and there was a 40k tournament going on at Dragon's Lair Comics. One of my favorite stores in the city, they are great to shop at, and it's not just 40k. They got everything you could want in any intellectual nerd capacity. From t-shirts, to, to bobbleheads, to D&D, anime, manga, comics, Japanese treats and snacks, they got it. And they also have room. Oh my god, I hate... I used to hate the cramped Heroes of Fantasies when I was a kid off of Gilbert and Tezel. Anyone in San Antonio knows that a magic tournament, you had to go to the Chinese place next door to play if they had more than 20 people. It was just the ex expectation. Um, I want to just give the shout out to the communities that I'm a part of online on Facebook. And Inner Tabletop, I, I have a running joke at Inner Tabletop. I met Bjorn when he was in San Antonio with his wife visiting his in-laws. I had no idea that all of the stuff I post online goes to Sweden. My fault. Because it automatically loads to his site. It's a great site. Don't speak the language. You know, I feel bad. And then there was stuff I was posting for a long time on Advanced Style Tactica that I was ending up in Japan through a mirror site. And I'm like, yeah, I speak enough Japanese, but the English content I'm using won't translate well and I felt bad so I want to try to be more global friendly I'm taking a Japanese self-induced course if you look over here all those books are my Japanese studies books from college the jet program and stuff I picked up recently which means good luck and study but for my group on Facebook, my group, the End Times Narrative 40K Apocalypse League. I love you guys, period. Some of you guys are not even in the country. We got people in New Zealand, we got people in England, we got people in Oklahoma. We had a guy from New York, but he voluntarily stepped out because there's no way he could keep up with the conversation and, and come down and play. His wife got ill. She's better. She had cancer, but he was a great guy to talk to. And I talked to him intermittently on different groups. But my group is awesome. We don't play as much as I would like. Some days I skip school on purpose just to get away from school to play. And sometimes we get games and sometimes they don't. Like, we just played Kill Teams yesterday. Frank and I, no, that was Tuesday because I skipped school Tuesday. Frank Rorig and I played two games at 250 points of Tau, and I was yawning. It's too small for me, but at the same time, when Frank pulls out new tactics and new ideas, it's like, wait, he has hit a power level. Interesting. Let's see what he pulls off. And I got skunked. I had a first turn loss against Frank, and it normally never, never happens. I was massively impressed, and I enjoyed it. I'm like, uh-oh, how does this affect the campaign? I can't launch airstrikes until turn two or three, depending on what I roll at the beginning of the game. Because he took out my control tower and half of my airfield. And that affects from central to the far west of the continent. So my far sight, enclave, my Dracona squadron, and my Taung Sept are pretty much hose meat without air support. Oops. Um, Midori Squadron has their own separate airfield where Frank's forces are nowhere close by that are just going to continue to carpet bomb and attack. And yeah, I got 12,500 points in Midori and I'm trying to figure out when did that happen? Oh, it took three and a half years? Roughly 4,000 a year? Yeah, it, it happened. So... I might be pushing more than 32,000 or just under 40,000 points of Tau. That's where we're at. Yeah. So, I'm voluntarily, before my wife even throws the hammer, just condense. I don't know if you can see that closet. Yeah, where's that closet? Right there. Uh-oh, can't zoom in. But that closet is filled with comic books, anime, video game, manga, 40k, and a whole bunch of other stuff. We need to get rid of it. I need to close it down. We need to clean that out. Because I may not be at this school next year. 
it really depends on the new principal being introduced this summer, and it depends on the job offers I'm looking at to stay in San Antonio and lose the highway life altogether. So with that being said, it's been awesome. It is always a pleasure to post on YouTube. After I take this class, yes, I can cut and edit my video, not on my phone. So I'm gonna go take a training class on how to do that on my phone and load the intro to my videos that I would like to the phone so I can just cut and paste and add on the phone. Um, again, hit the like button, the subscribe button, comment. If you want to share me in Denmark, Sweden, Switzerland, Spain, Panama, whatever country floats your boat because you're part of a group, please do. I'm always looking for great intellectual discourse about things that I love discussing. Japan. Like, I'm going to have to do a Japan channel pretty soon and a whole Japan page on Facebook because there's so many people that just want to talk about anime and I'm like, look, 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 anime is gorgeous. Manga is better. And then food. I didn't get here on alcohol. This is this was eating, playing video games, and not exercising when I should have. But again, you guys, be blessed, be safe. Have a beautiful weekend if I don't talk to you. I might not do an update tomorrow. Um, I'll let you know. Also, I have to pull out the Farsight Draconis Taun Emittery and see who's getting the chopping block. I'm kind of scared. Because I have so many Tau models, it's like I could cover six, I could cover five, six by four tables easily. Yeah. Then there's Eldar, my 761st Tank Battalion, Salamanders, and then flip over to the Salamanders. Granted, Salamanders saw the table at an APOC game and I was shooting up my own Salamanders. Um, Eldar. Eldar are more of an army for my wife, and I'm trying. I'm really trying the Jedi mind trick of saying, hey, do you want to kick my teeth in and roll dice so we can go hang out at a shop where it's quiet and it's just us? And that's been failing. So, Eve Online might have to be the answer with the wife. But you guys have a great night. Peace.